Have a seat. Are you? Sure. You might remember our what would you do scenario from two years ago. Excuse me. Yeah. When this guy put what looks like a dangerous drug into his date's drink. The reaction from most of the people at the bar was unforgettable. Yeah. You dropped something in that drink. Here's the drink, don't drink that. Throw that wine away. I've seen what I've seen. They rushed to the rescue of a woman in distress. But what'll happen when the person spiking the drink is a woman and the one getting drugged is a guy? The scene is set and our hidden cameras are rolling at Texas, Arizona, a popular sports bar in Hoboken, New Jersey. She may be young and innocent looking, but this woman is a con artist about to drug her wealthy date and rip him off for all he's worth. We're gonna go take a little boat ride around Manhattan. Do you have a boat? Wow, gosh. Oh. It happens more often than you think. Women drugging men and then taking their money. What would you do if you saw it happening? What would you like to drink? Um, Back at our bar. Vodka soda? Vodka soda. <laughs> All right. You feel better. She's got me drinking vodka almost before noon. <laughs> Our couple has gotten their barmate's attention. I'm going to hit the restroom, all right? The guy excuses himself. Watch as she, not so subtly, gets to work emptying the contents of a pill into her unsuspecting date's drink. Now notice the men in the background as they turn and see the powder going into the drink. Which, by the way, is just sugar. He just said he's got season tickets to the Giants. After a quick chat, she does it again. Oh, really? <laughs> and that's when we tell her naive date to stroll back to the bar. Where'd you disappear to there? I got a business call. I have to take. I'm sorry. Chin chin. Chin chin. As the drug takes effect, he begins to act right. ill. I'm going to be right back. All right. Okay. And after she leaves, he starts complaining. Miss? Yes, sir. I think there was some soap or something in that glass. It doesn't taste right. Now it looks as if he's about to pass out. Hey, uh, do you want to start taking off? Maybe get a jump start on that day? He's dazed and confused. But will anyone speak up before the couple walks out the door? I'm so sorry. Nope, not a word. But now that they're gone, listen to this. Right from the get go, she says, he goes, I have giant season tickets in a big boat. She was like, hey, Derek. He's probably got to get back to cleaning toilets. Come on. This guy, who says he didn't see her spike the drink, doesn't believe what he's hearing. <laughs> you what? I don't question it. You don't really put something in there. No. What? Strange or strange. All of a sudden, it was a great day. We were going on a boat. I was like, I'm playing an emergency war. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's great. I can't wait to read the paper wait, tomorrow. Please. It's time for me to introduce myself. Hey, boys. I'm John Quinones with the TV show What Would You Do? But the guys who were laughing a moment ago now don't want to talk about it. What goes through your mind when you see something like that? <laughs> I don't know what to think. I don't know. With no comment. <laughs> and so we try it again. Bottoms up. Here's to you, Aubrey. Thanks. Is that a great book, right? Good book? You can borrow it. Okay. Oh, yeah? All right. I was saying, I don't think he needs it. Apparently, he's got a house in Hawaii, Colorado, and both, so, I mean... Hey, listen, I'm going to hit the restroom. I'll be right back. Oh. He's a catch. <laughs> yeah. I'm a lucky girl. Lucky, maybe, but she's after a quicker payoff. Notice this guy's eyes as he stops reading. Thanks, Billy. You have me for the rest of the day. Fantastic. Cheers. Chin chin. Drink up. I'll be right back. Okay? 
And now we tell the villainous vixen to step away for a moment. Miss, do you have any uh, Advil or anything? Are you okay? I just have a headache. When the wealthy date pretends he's getting sick, this guy directs him to a local pharmacy. Bro, there's a CVS in the corner here. Is there? Yeah, right down the street. Uh, I think I'm getting the flu or something. It seems he's torn about what to do, but he sticks with his book, even as the victim's head hits the bar. You want to get out of here? So will he really let them leave together? Let me help you out here. He watches as the couple walks out the front door and then speaks up to the bartender, who's also working with us. That dude is about to pass out. Oh my gosh, no. That is freaky. Hey guys, I'm John Quinones. And we wanted to know if you see this happen, what would you do? What did we do? <laughs> you kept reading your book. Wow. He says he saw pills, but never saw the powder go in the drink. It's a tough position to be put in. Yeah, we failed. Yeah. We failed humanity. <laughs> We're jerks. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm going to use the restroom. I remember thinking, I was like, if he doesn't come back in a few minutes, maybe <laughs> so he might be passed out dead in the bathroom. And who would go down there? What if it was a guy drugging a woman? Do you think you would have responded more quickly? Yeah, probably, yeah. They let me leave the bar sweating and slumped over. And I didn't expect that. That was shocking to me. We start to think no one will confront the villain. All right, bottoms up. And then this woman shows up. I'm just going to use the restroom. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, can I just ask you a question as a girl? Do I look okay? Like, do I look like I'm trying too hard? Or... Are you on a date? Yeah, it's my first date with him. So he's a good catch, you know what I mean? Well, good luck. I will be too nervous. He's just a guy. <laughs> so after a little girl talk, our actress goes to work on her date's drink. This time, the reaction is immediate. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry? You were, you were putting something in this drink. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't. I was just trying to taste it, because I thought mine tasted kind of funny. Well, I, I, I saw you putting something in this drink, and I don't know what it is, but when, I just want you to know when it comes back, I'm going to let know. OK, but I mean, I, it's your first date, so I mean, it's none of my business, but. Do you hear this? Do you think she's crazy? No, I saw you do it, too. Oh, my gosh. This is like the Twilight Zone in here or something. Thank you. OK. That's cool. Thank you. Excuse me. Hi, yes. how are you? Um, my name is Mabel, by the way. Hi, how are you? Um, your date, actually, she told me you guys were on a first date. So um, I saw her put something in your drink. And I just want you to know that you should order another drink. Yeah, because cause you know what? I'm trying to take advantage of you. I want to take you home and have my way with you. I mean, oh, come on, nice. seriously. Why does that well, make you I mean, look? Seriously, what you do you think you're doing? You, look, you, you, you asked me how you look. This is your first date. You know, it's really nice, you know, and everything. But right now, you're, you're acting like a total bitch. Is that true? Seriously, what do you think I am? It's true, sir. I saw it. What do I owe you? Nothing. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm John. Hi, how are you? I'm from Jersey City, grew up in Jersey City, Hoboken, and this is not what we do. We, we need to protect our own people. And she was if nice was... to you. I'm sorry, can I just ask you a question as a girl? <laughs> she was, but I had to call her on it. And anybody who knows me, I have a very strong <laughs> voice and I will tell people how I feel. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Mabel Olmo, a petite but feisty account executive who believes that every now and then, a man can also use a little help. We, earlier, we had a bunch of guys up here. Okay. And they would not say a thing. That's horrible. I can't believe that. I just, you know, if someone sees something, they should, they should act. 